everyone, I'm Ann from Ann Makes here on YouTube. And if you're interested in reading about all sorts of DIYs, uh, how to's, all sorts of crafty things, product reviews even, um, and product comparisons too, uh, then head on over to my blog afterwards at annmakes.blogspot.com. So today it's Dollarama haul time. Dollarama is a chain of uh, dollar stores that we have in Canada and the prices of the items range from a uh, one to four Canadian dollars. And this is what I bought. I got two of these baskets. They are like nylon covered. They're rigid. They have these little like silver handles. They are $2 a piece. They measure, I believe it's 11 inches by four inches and in, no, they're 11 by six, sorry. It says 11 by six, but down here it's more like four. The, the top part's more like six. Yeah, they are 11 inches long. And I actually just uh, set one of these up in my brand new car. <laughs> it's in the trunk of my car and it's holding uh, little uh, things that are important to have in, a, in the car. So I got two of these. I might put the second one in my car if I see a need for it. If not, I know I'll find a place somewhere in the house for it. So in here are a bunch of little doodads. Well, not just doodads, but lots of fun things I found at Dollarama this week. And so let's get to it. First thing I'm showing you is this Nano Mini Stapler uh, Paper Pro. I like it because it's pink. And this is $3.50. It says it will um, staple 12 sheets of paper at a time. And I just, I thought it was really cute because it's pink. And I already have uh, staplers, but I'm always looking for one when I need one. So just have another one. And actually, this is a good size to keep in a like a tote bag, you know, for one of my multiple projects that I have on the go. These were new to me. Maybe you've seen them. I got these tassels. They're like in the, I guess, the home decorating. And they show at the back. How they they show in the back how they are used to uh, decorate things around the house and I thought yeah that's great you could do that or there's so many other things you can do other crafty uses for these and these are a dollar each each and I think they're really pretty so I got um, four of these because if I don't use them in my home decor because I don't really have anything that matches, I will definitely be using these in my crafts. Oops, I picked up and I bought this bracelet here. Thought it was a really nice looking bracelet. It'd be nice with some of my summer outfits. They have some nice pieces of jewelry at Dollarama. And this one is $2.50. It's pretty good for costume jewelry, I find. And also got this nice necklace. It's, um, I guess it's a shell type of, or glass. It's, it's got weight. And it's in the corals, kind of coral, oranges, peach colors. And I think it's like a heart. They had uh, different colors. They were very pretty. It was hard to choose just what. And this is three dollars and fifty cents. I got one of these uh, set to go. It's a reflect. It has a reflective strips here. It's a headband that you can wear uh, around your hair, around yeah. And uh, I think this is good if I'm out early for an early morning walk or anything. Uh, it's always good to be seen. <laughs> by oncoming cars and also I'm gonna keep this one in my car I think it's good to have things that are reflective if 
I ever get stuck on this, you know, I have to pull over my car for some reason, and uh, this is just, I don't know, if I don't put it on my head, at least I can put it on my arm and then have something reflective for oncoming drivers to see. I bought this dual pack of utility knives. These are pretty good knives, I have to say, and I... Like these last me quite a long time, so yeah. So I haven't bought them in a, in a while, and it's been over a year. I think I haven't bought any new ones, so this is pretty good. Um, but I do buy a lot of these usually at a time. Uh, so you get two of these for a dollar twenty-five, and they they're pretty they're good. They're pretty strong. They're not they're not flimsy. I just used up my last two silver markers on a doodling project that I was working on. So I just wanted to replace uh, the silver, but of course I get a gold and a silver. And for $1.25, that's fine with me. So, got those. These were new at the Dollarama I was at today. Uh, well, I'm sorry, yesterday. These packages of colored lace. I got the pink what the pink set blue and there was this lilac or uh, purple set these are the colors that were available at my dollarama so these are the ones I got I got these fun little page magnets <laughs> they're food basically with uh, eyes the french fries the donuts cupcakes, little hamburgers. I thought these were really cute um, to put, you know, maybe to give with a child's book as a gift or put in some mail or pocket letter. Just, and you get eight of them for $1.25. So they're really cute. But the, these ones are my favorite because of course they have little kitties and some cute puppies. Picked up a package of the goodie double wear pony tailor bracelet, the two in one. So it could be a, a, a bracelet or a ponytail holder. I've hauled these before. I hauled some of the gold ones and this time I got some of the silver ones. Uh, they're really great to have. Uh, they're great to throw in my purse or in uh, my car to have as an emergency <laughs> backup and uh, I've done exactly that if I if I don't want to wear it in my hair or I think I'm going to need it later then I can have it around my wrist until I need to put my hair up and then I can you know take it out of my hair again and just and it's true it, it looks kind of like a bracelet so a dollar fifty for the three they're goodie brand so that's pretty good just realized what I said there and I got some of these life's little occasions I had seen other people haul these I may have found one before but my Dollarama had just put out uh, several of these so I got a few and I really like these stickers there are nine pieces and they all have uh, these like craft creative type uh, sayings on there which is really up my alley this was the one and only there it's a set of alphabet stamps uh, by Inka Dinka Do so it's the Inka Dink Inka Dink Klings <laughs> little alphabet stamps and they're the red rubber and cling so these are usually a uh, pretty good quality and uh, the set was two dollars which is pretty good there's 72 yeah there's 72 pieces because you have the uppercase and lowercase of the alphabet and the whole numbers whole set of numbers and the punctuations I got one of each of the Disney Z Zoom Zoom stickers. Uh, I'm, I'm not very familiar with uh, this line in Disney, the Zoom Zoom, uh, but as I see it, it's like the 
baby babyish or format of the Disney characters. And uh, I thought, oh, I should get like one of each that they have because these would make also, uh, if, I, if I'm not gonna use these, I'm sure somebody else I know will. And they'll make like a nice little gift package if I bundle them all together. So this one is the Disney Zoom Zoom sticker activity booklet with two sticker sheets and four activity sheets and one scene. So these, you get the stickers. And I guess that's the little scene you can play with. Or activity sheet. Oh yeah, and these are the activity sheets. So, and this package of stickers, 24 stickers in here. I don't know if it says there are four sheets. So, I don't know if it's four sheets of the same stickers or not. But this was a dollar twenty-five. The glow in the dark. There are fifty-six stickers in here, and it's on two sheets. Again, I do not know if they are different sheets, but it looks like it's uh, a repeat of the same thing. Then this one is 103 stickers on six sheets of the Zoom Zoom. $1.25 for these. And oh, I don't want to break the seal, but those are the little stickers inside. And uh, this one is 126 stickers. And it's on six sheets, and it has two extra scenes to play with. Oh, I could show you the back so you could get a better idea of what's in here. That's $1.25. The foil metallic 62 stickers on two sheets. Sorry, I can't avoid the glare. It's because of the packaging and the, the light, that's what happens. That... And, boy, there's a lot of these. <laughs> the epoxy stickers. There's 32 in here. A package of the tattoos. Two sheets of, they're like little silver foil tattoos. And finally, the sticker frame and stickers so you get this whole sheet of like sort of puffy yeah they're they're thick flexible stickers and a little frame like a little picture frame so i got all of that sorry about that I bought this jar of the Coronation Hot Pepper Relish. I've never tried this, but I do. If you remember, I my son, I have a son who loves spicy foods and likes trying out all sorts of spicy things. So I got him this. Maybe he'll enjoy eating this with his hamburgers or hot dogs. I don't know. We'll give it a try. We'll see. And it was a dollar, so it can't really go wrong if it's it's not a win. It's okay. New at the Dollarama I was at yesterday are these Pro Painter paint brush covers. And essentially what these are, they're a little case. You can see there's a hole here, it's foam. And you open it up. And what the intention is, is to put your paintbrush once you're you know, if you're painting something and you have to kind of let the coat dry and you don't you don't need to clean your brush water, but you need to keep it sort of moist until you can go back for the second coat or to finish your project. Well, this is just a case so you can keep your brush in there and you can keep it like this. So your paintbrush doesn't dry basically with all of the paint or varnish or whatever on it. 
you can come back to it the next day and you still have your brush. Um, I'm used to using just a bag. <laughs> I just put my paintbrushes in the bag and wrap them up and, and stuff. But I thought these are really nice because they're they're more convenient in a way than a bag um, because it, the handle won't get mucky and it'll just keep anything else off my paintbrush and there's less of a chance that I'll throw this out in between you know, projects or during a project than I would a, of a brush in a plastic bag. Because that's happened to me before, you know, I wrap my brush in a plastic bag, lay it down, then somebody else walks by and they think it's garbage and they just throw out the paintbrush. But uh, yeah, so I, and this is the only brush I had close by to show, to give you an example. It's not a good example for this. I mean, this is the kind of brush that you throw out, but um, you know, this is good for good paintbrushes. And I, I was thinking not only for when I, do repairs or home decorating but in my own painting and my mixed media and stuff uh this is great i could put my brush in here temporarily and you know go take care of something else and come back to it it also i thought would make a nice temporary little paint palette sometimes although i would have to cover up the hole and make sure i don't like travel with this These are new at Dollarama also, and I know they're like, they look very bizarre. And I'm gonna to try to explain to you what these are. They are multifunction tool. Well, that's a multifunction tool. Let me tell you what it does. It is a paint mixer. So this part here is the paint mixer part. I actually bought two, so I'll read from the other one. And it is, there's a can opener at the end. So at this end, this comes off, there's tape right now. And you can pop open the paint can with the metal end, metal tip that's in there. It is also a roller cleaner because this part here is curved. So when you, you're cleaning your paint roller, you know, and do that or this too the comb part and yeah this is a like a brush cleaner well this is a sponge brush it, it won't work but if it were um, a bristle brush then you imagine you would do this you know to clean the brush but I thought this is really good and it's really it's pretty stiff so um, yeah, so you, you get like a paint stirrer and a paintbrush cleaner and a paint can opener all in one. The only thing I'm concerned about is losing the cap for this because, yeah, knowing me, well, not me, I'm pretty good at keeping my stuff together, but other people that I know in my household, uh, might not be so good about keeping the caps. So I bought two, one that will stay in my stuff my toolbox. I bought this pack of scissors. You cannot go wrong if you see these, this brand of scissors, the Westcott brand, or there's other brands. There's like also Fiskars. When you see those, um, if a Dollarama, you cannot go wrong in purchasing these scissors. Uh, the prices are really good. These are good scissors. They're good tools to have. And I didn't really need to buy another pair of scissors, as you may know, I, I have a lot already, but I'm constantly making stuff and cutting up stuff. So it's, I just need a lot of scissors. And I got this pair because they were pink. They had other colors and I probably wouldn't have bought, if, bought any if, it was only, if they only had the other colors, but since they had the pink one with the nice little cord, I got them for four dollars and I, I know that these are really good scissors. I bought a box of Ziploc extra large sandwich bags. They're 30 in a box and this is 250. Just needed sandwich bags. And oh I got this folder. It's Grumpy Cat. I like don't you isn't he cute? And he says, this is my happy, he says, this is my happy face. 
a grumpy cat. I just thought, oh, he's perfect. So I got that. I think I might just use this as a uh, way for my camera to focus when I'm shooting video. I got two of these Graphic Skins Design Studio. And it's whew, customized and create like never before. It, it's like a vacuum chamber contraption here. This is sold for uh, kids to make models. So basically, he, they take one of the skins, like kind of, it's kind of like a sticker, not, it's not sticky. And they wrap it around uh, pieces here, put it in here in this kind of vacuum chamber and it sucks the air out and it adheres the skin to the piece of, of plastic and then they can take the pieces and build something. So yes, this is a very, it's educational, it's crafty and it's also fun. And my Dollarama only have this model and this one has like a bug shark and a jeep so i guess you would say this is more masculine but if my boys are, are young men so they're they're kind of like too old for this but we might actually have fun just when it rainy afternoon uh, fiddling around with these and i think what will happen is that i will inherit the um the skins after and I will definitely find a use for them in uh, my own craft making and these it's a, such a good deal these are four dollars at Dollarama it's a very nice gift for someone I'm sure that boys but even I know girls that would like this a lot so uh, and I know that other people have hauled this with a there's like more, more pink on it just to say um, but I didn't see that on my Dollarama so I got this and that's it for Dollarama today actually that was my Dollarama haul this week and I hope you liked this video if you did I would so appreciate a thumbs up please like comment share and subscribe if you are not already a sub subscriber because I would love to have you as a subscriber and any comments that you leave I read and re reply uh, so thanks again for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll catch you after the next haul. Bye.